Hey team, welcome back. Get ready, today is bar burn and tone. We're gonna be hitting the arms, the legs, the glutes, the core, everything. You're gonna feel a burn. You're gonna also get a little bit of a shake because we're gonna be utilizing parts of our body sometimes that we neglect. When you get done, I guarantee you're gonna feel yummy inside that body. What you're gonna need for this workout is a set of five pound weights, a mat and a chair or something that is stable. This workout is focused on high reps using the light weight and your body weight. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Looking for more content, want a little bit more of us, click that join button below. There's over 200 workouts that you are missing out on. Roll your shoulders back, have a little bit of space here. We're gonna start off with a march. Relax your arms. I am gonna be barefoot, you option with the shoes. Knees up, right, left, pull it down. Now big arms, eyes are up. I want you to have a really long spine here. If you're shoeless like me, I'm gonna point my toe a little bit as I bring my knee up. I'm gonna keep this, but add a little twist. Genie arms. Twisting elbow, opposite elbow to knee. Ringing out my waist, how about you? Are you ringing it out? Four more, we reach down for the squat and then we reach up to the sky. Drop squat, reach down, reach up. Now when you're reaching down, I want your eyes to be up. Spread your fingers. Two more and then we're gonna step out, step in. To the right and to the left. Step out, step in, out, in. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up right now in the beginning. Make sure everything faces forward. Step out, sumo, sweep it down up. Second position, and reach. Big arms, bend your knees. Turnout comes from the hips, heels solid through the ground. You're gonna keep this, but step in with the right leg. Step out and left. Reach up. Click your heels together. Use your inner thighs. Step out, now pulse, drop, stay, low and small. You're gonna see a lot of this small stuff today. High reps, no beeper, just use that music. We're gonna hold, just lift the heels up and pause. Three, two, one, release. Again, find some balance, release. Two more. One more time. Step it in, in, right there, just right here. Just kind of zip it up. Feel that pelvic floor engage. Hold it, squat and lunge. Right there, turn. Back to the front and turn and lunge. Back front, turn, lunge. One more time and then stay in the front, hands on the hips, hinge forward, squat down. Hip hinge and drop. Two more. Turn your feet forward, turn them out. Hinge and hold. All right, we're getting ready for some upper body. So we're gonna be grabbing our five pound weights. Whatever you have is gonna work. So again, we're gonna be doing five. And you can do three, you can do zero. How are we feeling about this? You feeling good about this? I want your arms up, turn them out, palms are up, shoulder press, full range. Now, your feet are in parallel. Ground your feet. Pull your belly up and in. Pull your pelvic floor up. All right, you're only gonna go up halfway. Halfway. So you got field gold arms here. Pull your ears over your shoulders. You're doing great, come on. Full range, bring it up. 
eyes are on you. Now, when we strength train, that helps our metabolism, not even during the workout, but after the workout. All right, we're gonna fly in and then push up. So, close, open, press. Close the arms and then press it all the way up. Hold here, flip it down, flip it up. Rotation. Really getting deep inside that shoulder. Hold it down, open the feet, press forward and back, forward and pull. So open up your base for me. It's like a face pull here. This is gonna get some shoulders. Fight the gravity when you push forward. Hold it front, drop the chest. Now row up to the face. Row up and release. So I'm pulling towards that forehead temples. Two more, then we fly. It's gonna get wide. Turn the palms in, fly. Open up. Pinch between those shoulder blades. Ooh, we are firing up those shoulders right now. Pull the elbows in, we got kickbacks. Push it back. Kick, return. All right, so in that kickback, you guys stop around the thighs and then press it all the way straight. Back is flat, abs in. Two more, and then I want the arms straight in the back. Hold it, palms up. Press here, press up, push. Keep it moving. So we're really gonna be using that music to move your body. Palms stay up, come on. Keep the press. Now, as you're doing this, turn the palms in, and I'll turn the palms down. Oh, it just got harder. Come on, a few more. I want you to feel some fire in there, right? Can you give me eight more? Yeah, you can. You're counting down, right? Release, roll up, woo! Open up into second. So now that we've fired the triceps and the shoulders, we're gonna fire up your biceps. Just give me some curls here. Have the turnout, you're in second position. Stay with this. So I want you to just hold your legs, strength and stillness here. We got plenty of time to move those legs. Fist to shoulder. Eyes are up. Now. We're gonna start to drop as we squeeze up. Drop and squeeze. Weight can be heavier if you load it a little bit more in front. Two more. And then we're gonna hold middle and pulse. Drop. Now, just your arms, not your legs, please. So I'm staying quiet in the legs. Small movements in the arms. Three more, I release, and then I'm hammering curl. Right, left, drop. Option, heels, alternate lifting here. If it's too much, just stay. Keep it coming, come on, fist to shoulder. Maybe work in that middle zone of that curl. Give me eight more. And then we're gonna do some reaching and pulling. Four. Reach to us. Reach, pull. To your hips, in front. If your legs have a lot of fire, walk them in. You can do this. I'm gonna reach right, then left. Go. Right, left. There you go. Palm is up. Wrist is straight. Both arms, let's go. Reach, pull. Reach to the corners, out wide, take it out. Wide, keep it there. Two more. Hold it. Bring it in and out. Squeeze in, open, we're almost there, come on. How are those arms doing? Yeah, you're doing okay? You guys okay? No one's saying anything. 
Woo, we got a little burn. <laughs> All right, you guys, hold them in now. From here, press in, straighten out your legs. So, I'm gonna have my dumbbell heads touch. I'm reaching away and pushing in. My legs have a little release though. Four more, three, two, that's it, waist down. Woo, that's right. All right, thumbs down, thumbs up. Lengthen and stretch here. Jumping jack arms, reaching them up halfway down. Up, half, up, half. All right, I'm gonna take us into some jumping jacks. Three more, two, jack, feet in. Open up, let's go, open. Light on your feet. You can take it into that low impact. Drop squat, drop now. Out, in, down, up. Your choice. Open the legs out wide. Maybe you want arms to jack. Power, eight more. When you touch the ground, eyes come up. Take your option. Great shot, form plank. Woo. Knees or toes, where I want you to be is your elbows a little bit forward from your shoulders and then pull up and in the waist. Hips around, shoulder height. Just find that strength in your stillness here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck the knee in, lift the hips up, back knee, drive in. Front knee. Inhale, exhale. Use your core, deepen the core. I got you for eight more. Inhale, exhale. Turn to a side plank. Woo! Scissor the legs. I want you to take one weight right in front of your fist. You can always drop the knee down. Are we ready for this? Hand behind the ear for just a moment. I'm gonna pick up my weight. I'm gonna grab it with my hand. I'm gonna pick it up, tap it down. Pick it up, tap it down right now. Keeping it tight to my body. If it's too much for your shoulder, drop your bottom knee down. Keep pushing your hip up. Exhale, and you pull the weight up. Four more, I know you like countdowns, right? Relax, swing it around. Elbow under shoulder. Find where you need to be in your side plank. Knee can be down, hand behind the head. Push your hips to me, grab your weight, pull it up. Pull, tap the ground. Keep your hips shining up to that ceiling. Ooh, and that top arm's already feeling it because it had to hold you in place. So we're being kind of quiet, but we're adding some movement, challenging that balance. Weight goes down, turn. Take a moment here. Push-ups, yes. Knees or toes. Get ready in eight, seven. Plank or not, in four. Let's go slow, down two counts. Chest to elbow height, pull up and in your waist. The music's building, what does that mean? Tempo up, hit it.
Your arms are almost done. You got this. Pull up and in in your waist. If you're on the knees, drop your chest forward. Sometimes those hips stay up. We want to burn. So if you feel like you can't do the push-ups on your toes anymore, come to your knees. I am there. Oh, I think we got some more in us, right? Empty out that tank in the arms. Two more of this pace. Guess what? Slow it down, two by two. Come down and hold, hold it, hold it. Push away, breather, get some water. Whew. You want to make sure you have a stable surface. So this could be a chair. It could be if you have a bar, your trampoline. We're going to be in first position. Heels and toes turn out. Lift your heels up and then walk them in so that they try to stay connected. So it's a small V. It's not a very big V here. That's going to help you keep your heels connected. And then women, it's going to cinch up your pelvic floor. Super important as we get older to keep it strong. You're about arm's length away. Roll the shoulders back, zip up your backside, lift the heels and lower them, lift, release. Really lifting up about five to six inches, maybe you can, or actually maybe two to three inches, five to six would be huge, right? Again, I'm trying to keep my heels together as I lift them off the floor. Four more. I'm gonna hold the heels up. Now I'm gonna just come down and stay. Shoulders over the hips, hips over the heels. So I don't want to lean forward. I want your heels lifted. You're in your toes. You feel like your knees are just pushing back a little bit. From this position, we're gonna go down a little bit and then up a little bit. Down and lift. So staying in the middle. And then I really want you to focus on lengthening up. Nothing to look down at. Press your heels in and lift them up high. Keeping the knees kind of tracking out because you have that turnout coming from your hips. All right, again, mindfulness in the heels and I got great alignment. How about you? Full range, all the way down slow. Down and take it up all the way, squeezing through the backside all the way onto the top. So you feel your inner thighs press all the way in. You got four more of those. Yeah, sometimes we want to go fast, but today we're going to go slow and we will go fast. We started off this workout like a power. Find halfway right there, small drops, down, down. All right, give me length, give me heels up. Keep it coming, come on. Eyes up. You feel the heat? Ooh, I feel the heat right here. We're gonna hold in three, two, tuck the tailbone to the chair. You tuck, release. Oh yeah. Four more of those. Use your core. Two more. You get a break. Shake it out. All right. Parallel. That means everything comes together. So glue them in. Give me the length. You can face your chair again in four. We're lifting the heels and lowering the heels. Just the heels. Lift up, release. Really roll into your toes, right? Those toes need to get worked. They help us with balance. All right, let's go double time on those calves. Lift, up, less chair, light fingers. Eight more of these. Come on, really get those heels up. Hold it up. All right, sink down. Now, I'm gonna take a little step back. Are your heels up? Three to four inches. Are your thighs squeezing? Can you drop a little lower for me, some of you guys? Not your heels, but your butt lower. Now drop here. Down and lift. 
So again, I have my alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over heels. If your knees are a problem, heels down. Keep this. All right. Can you make sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Cheeky come back there. There we go. There's that alignment that I want. And the heels are high, looking good. You ready to come down? Just hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, up a little bit. Hold it. I hear that, I heard that, oh, right? <laughs> one more time, we're shaking, how about you? Now, can you open the knees a little bit and squeeze? Open, close, clap them. Hey, clap, squeeze, oh, come on, eight, four, three, little pulses, drop, down, all right, how's the posture? If you need a break, come out for a moment and then come back into it, Woo! I'm coming back into it, how about you? Full range, all the way down, slow, go down, two, and up. Yeah, you got that little break at the top. Try not to lean forward towards that chair. Come on, pull your chest back. Four more like that. So I'm counting right, we got two more, right? One more time, can you hold it? When you come up halfway, just stay there. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your heels together, your knees together. Oh, I see a little shake in here. In four more, three, two, release, whoo. Thigh stretch, pull one foot back. You did awesome. Switch legs. All right, we're gonna have those feet separated, one hand width apart. We're gonna face you. Because we're going to do a little dancing to finish this off. Heels are up. Knees bent. Shift to your chair. And away. All right? And add the arm to really start to shake in those hips. Alignment. Pull your head back. Faster. need this. Yeah. Two, one, done. Oh, stretch it down. Great job. All right, roll yourself up. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to stay on track to what we need to be doing. Standing glutes. Feet in parallel. So this is parallel. We just were there. Front leg is gonna reach back to five o'clock. Tuck your tailbone, point your toe, lift your chin, and just hold it back there. You're gonna feel the arch in your low back. Just lift it back there as far as you can. Standing leg is a little bit of bent. From there, press back and hold. Press back, release. What happens here? So pay attention to your body. It wants to lean forward and make this easier, but try to stay more upright than anything here. Keep this slow. Feeling it right in that area that we all go, oh my gosh, look at that. But it's good for you, we need that. You have a little turnout maybe. All right, hold it into the back, small little lifts. Up. Now, if you want to releve the standing leg, you lift the heel off the floor, but you keep the length from the crown of your head. Same leg, a little circle. Circle. Small. I'm going slower. And then I'm gonna reverse it. Four, reach the leg. Three, two. Now I'm gonna go straight back to six o'clock. Push back. You can drop the heel if you feel like you need to. Take a break. Knee turns front this time. Everybody's looking great. From that, double time it. Push. All right, come on, push away from the chair. Eight more. 
And then we're gonna combo this, okay? We're gonna go five o'clock, six o'clock. Are you ready? Combo, out, back, diagonal, back. Four more combos. Bring the knee in for a moment, figure four stretch. Side stretch. All right, we're getting ready. Set yourself up for the other leg. Fix anything in four. This one goes to seven o'clock. Hold it. Don't move. All right, so find your posture, please. You can have a little bend in the standing leg, but you're really reaching that leg to the back. From there, slow, push it back. Press. What can help you to push the chair down a little bit through the hands to lift and lengthen you up taller? Oh, I saw everybody grow just that little bit. Keep it small. Really lengthen out to the back. Give me four more and then we'll turn it up. I know your standing leg is feeling it too. Hold it. Little pulses, go. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget the count. Eight more. If you wanna releve, you can. Circle small. Four. Three. Reverse that circle. Take it to six o'clock, press it back, slow, press, and release. You can drop the heel if you need to. All right, push away the chair, lengthen up. You can do this. The thing is, is that you know what you're in for, so sometimes you kind of hesitate and hold. Release it, come on. Good range. It's not big, we have to isolate. Prevent your body from tipping too far forward. Ready, tempo up, tempo up. Pull up and in in your waist, pelvic floor. Six o'clock. Combo coming here in four, three, two, seven, and six. I'm making a V, Diane. Diane's making a half circle, that's fine. I'm making a V. Out, in, out, in. Eight more, eight. Maybe we did more here. Come on, Jen, pull away from the chair. Oh, come on. Yeah, everything's engaging here. Last two, that's it. Whew, figure four. Oh yeah, stretch it out. You know you can't get that area with those heavy squats, right? Shake your hips a little bit here. Feel okay? Take a deep breath here. Let's flip your chair around. We're gonna be putting our feet on top of the chair. So let's get off those feet and start to bridge. This will feel good, I promise. <laughs> Heels on the chair. Have your legs at 90s. Feet a little bit separated. Heels into the chair. Arms by your side, maybe a little bit out into a V. All you're gonna do is just push your back onto the mat and then release. So don't lift your hips here. Just tuck your tailbone and then release. Work inside your core and then release. So tuck and hold and then release. So what you're doing is you're bringing the hip bone towards the ribs and then releasing. Keep a little bit of a tuck right now, and then lift the hips up, and just hold. You don't have to be super high here, it's not a high bridge. So flex your feet. From there, we're gonna drop down and lift back up. So, drop and lift.
Check your knees out, right? They track your toes, don't let them cave in, cave out, they're just parallel. How are you feeling, Carol? Okay, our heels are hard onto the chair. We're gonna swing the hip a little bit towards you. Drop and drop, drop, swing to the back now. This would be easier to do faster. So sometimes when we slow it down, you isolate more. Keep the swing. Inhale, drop, exhale up. Down, front, down, back. Two more. Now hold up to center. Can you take your hands up to the sky? Just hold. Toes up. Small little lifts right now. Press it up. Small. Just tuck. Hamstrings. Feel that? Close your eyes. I know you want to stop, but you got 16 more. You can do this. Count it. Oh, there's spike coming out. Let's go. You got four more. Now you're just gonna hold it. Come on. Eight, seven. Break coming. Relax. Stretch it out. Feet off your chair. Oh, hamstrings. Switch legs. Rock yourself up. Seated chair. Inner thighs. All right, we're gonna just take a little break from the floor here because we're gonna work the glutes in a moment. So we're gonna sit on the edge of our chair, pop the chest open. So from this position, my knees are just right in front of my chest. I'm gonna open the legs out to the side and squeeze. Inhale, exhale. You can be on the edge of your couch. Eyes are looking out in front. Bring it all the way in. And then you get your core turning on here. More middle, let's go. Down, squeeze. Now I want you to try to touch your knees together. So maybe the heels don't go all the way in. More knees. Pop your chest. Keep it going, come on. What are you looking at? Can you squeeze your knees together? I know you want to know how many, right? Four more. <laughs> I could hear that. Hold it here. Now, one leg goes down. Down, up. So just kind of stretch it out. Or it can like touch the floor a little bit. We're kind of holding on here for our dear life. <laughs> Eight more. You got a front of your thigh activated. Chin up. Four to go. And relax. Rock it up. Woo. You're going to take your chair and remove it completely so we all can just put it off to the side. You're down on the ground. Go ahead and get on your stomach. We're gonna be doing some supers and some flying and a little bit more planking. Arms reach out in front. Toes lengthen back. I just want you to come up and hold a super position here. Eyes look up. Just stay. Arms by your ears. Breathe into this. Think of it as yoga, right? Pull the elbows to your back pockets. Reach and release. Come on up again. Up, 
reach forward and down. Lift, pull. Try to get your elbows towards your back pockets when you pull it back. When you pull back, lift a little bit more. Next one, hold it back. So reach and hold. Now, from that position, all you're gonna do is take your elbows, let them touch the floor, come down. Touch, back. So maybe the hands, and then pull it back. Stay lifted if you need to. Lower your feet to the ground. Upper body is up here. Eight more. Look out a little bit. Or close your eyes. Hold it out. Reach the arms and T behind your back. Lift your chest. Interlock your fingers. Lift up. Release it down. Relax. Hand on top of hand. Wiggle your hips. Take a deep breath here. Lift up both legs, so maybe move them in a little bit. So both legs lift and start to flutter your legs. Up and down. Reach your toes. Keep the flutter. So good for your posture. We're still fluttering, how about you? Eight, seven. Push back, nice job. Quick breather. We're gonna do a one, two, three climb in the mountain. Get ready in eight, seven, six. You guys ready? You're gonna bring it. Front leg, start first. One, two, pull. Full speed, no stops, just climb. One more round, come on, you got this. In eight, seven, four, down dog. Whew. Nice job. We're gonna flip it. Oh, we got some core. Whew, that was a sprint, huh? That felt good. Hands behind the knees. We're coming into C curve. <laughs> you can face me, right? I tucked the tailbone. Look towards the thigh. So we really wanna push into that low back here. See if you can let go and hold. And you can dance a little bit. Right. Again, tuck under. You need to hold behind the knee, but push that low back into where the mat. From here, we're moving a little bit. You can go down and then a little up. Again, I can hold on. I could have a strap, that would be helpful sometimes. But we wanna build strength, not take away. Keep this. Relax your shoulders. I'm gonna grab to that front knee, turn a little bit, and then hold and then I let go. And then we can move, a little up and down. So I'm really twisted. A couple more. Back to the center, hold, turn to the back, hands to the outside of that thigh, kind of twist it, tuck it, 
let go to move a little up and down. So really focus on that back oblique. Jen's got you covered if you need to stay down. Just a couple more here, breathe with it. Two more. Center, lock and load, hold, let it go. Slow as you can, lower your spine down, slow. Eight, seven, six, I'm gonna squeeze my legs a little bit. Three, two, and one. Ah. Woo. Feet come up. Knees over the hips. Hands by your hips. Just take one foot, bring it down, and then bring it up. Switch legs. Take your time. What I want you to focus on here is that your leg stays at a 90 degree angle and you don't let the thigh come into your chest. So I'm going down, touch, pull it up one more time. Hold it here for a moment. Arms reach up. Dead bug position here. Opposite, front leg reaches, back arm goes, and then switch that. Take your time, two counts to drop, two counts to come up. I'm gonna do two more, because I'm starting to feel it in my thighs, and I'm sure you are. We're gonna take a little leg break. Feet come down, hands behind the head. Lift up into crunch. Lift, release. Now, butterfly your feet. Feet in, knees out. When you come up, I want you to look between your legs. One arm reaches, double time, in between the legs. Reach. Switch it, reach it, crunch. Take out those hip flexors. Release, turn to us. Legs extend out. I want you to be up. We're gonna change our jackknife a little bit here. I'm gonna use my back hand behind me so I feel like I'm twisted on my hip. And I'm gonna lift both legs up, but I'm gonna go slow, front legs lift. Up, two, and down. If I need to, I could be here. You're gonna get more out of it if you try to just lift both feet, just that little bit. How many was that? Was that four? I wanna make sure I do the same number on each side. Really crank it up on that side. Glue your legs together. Two more, we'll do a total of 10. Next one, just up and hold. Stay there. Swing it around, other side. Legs out, arms out. Lean back, bring them up. A little jackknife. Glue your legs together. Coming up at the side. Up, hold, release. Music is amazing. I love music. It can really help us turn up that intensity and intention. A lot of our classes, we try to work out using the beat. That's eight the intention on that top oblique. Up and hold. Crank that oblique right at the top. Really, swoo, on your back. Long legs, long arms. We're gonna finish with some single leg bridging here. Wiggle your legs. Arms by your side a little bit on the V, bend the knees. Tuck, release, but keep your back on the mat here. Just quick tucks here. We do this with the heels on the chair. If 
keep it coming somewhere in the middle. From there, hips lift up, lift up. Now, I really want you to press through the whole foot. Push your hips up. Hold it up. Now, front leg is gonna lift. Just stay. Make sure that you adjust your back leg if it needs to be adjusted. Just stay. Eyes are looking at your toes in the ceiling, right? From there, small hip lift. Drop and push, up. I'm still moving, how about you? Lift, release, lift, release. I got you for eight more. Hold it. From there, take the leg down to knee height. Now open leg out, out and in. You can even make a little happy face with that leg. It's happy, it's getting to the end. Two more. Hold the knees together, squeeze them in. Three, two, one, release. Breathe deep here. We're gonna finish the other leg. Both feet on the floor, both hands on the ground. Both feet, both hips lift up. Lift up, release. Ooh, that back leg, right? Two more. Hold it up. Bottom leg lifts up and just hold. Look at that foot, how's it look? This is my funny foot, I have a funny foot. Solid through that bottom leg, right? That front leg is your working leg. Brace your core. You ready? Little drop, up. You got 16 more. You're gonna hold it. Bring that leg down to knee height. And you're gonna go sweep away and in. Happy face, here it is. Eight, seven. You feel your abs, right? Bring it in and hold. Squeeze your knees together. Two, release, hug it in. Oh my gosh, right? <sighs> Little happy baby grabbing either inside or outside of the foot. Open the knees wider than your body. There we go. Release, front knee into the chest, drop it across the body, spinal twist. Bring it in, and then switch that knee in, drop it to the front, spinal twist. Bring it back to center. Give it a good hug. Rock yourself up to all four. And then cat cow. We're gonna be rounding that back. And then next, inhale, reach up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, one more time. 
find neutral little bird dog here. Open up your knees, reach your front arm forward and your back leg is gonna reach. Just hold. If you can, we're gonna reach back for the foot, grabbing it if you can, and then open up shoulder, hip. Can be on your stomach if you need to. See if you can gently let it go and go back into that reach. And release, switch that. Arm, back arm, front leg, looking through. See if you can bend the knee, reach back, open up through the heart. Push your foot into your hand, really open through that front of your body. Gently let go, back into that reach. Hand goes down, knee goes down, open the hips up, those knees up and then sit back in a child. Forehead can relax. Press yourself up into, if you want to go all the way down on your stomach, a little up dog or sphinx. Good for the spine to stretch back up. And we're going to go press into a down dog. Push your heels down, make any adjustments. Take the front leg to single dog, bend the knee, open the hip up, let it drop to the back of the room. Send it to the sky and release it down. Other leg, single dog, bend the knee, open up toward the front. Back to single dog, foot down, straddle. Widen the feet, walk back, stay in straddle. Roll it up. Ooh, fix anything. Wow, right? Don't you feel great? <sighs> Big inhale, reach it up, reach it up. Reach it back. Use your exhale, bring it down into your heart. And one more big inhale, let it go. You did amazing. Wow, right? That had been a long time since we've done a power hour in bar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to my girls, Diane. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Liza. We missed you the other day. I was calling Diane, Liza. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Carol. And of course, a big thank you to you. You guys are doing amazing here. Make sure if you're not yet, hit that subscribe button and the join button. You don't wanna miss out. There's almost 200 additional workouts that you're not seeing right now. Amazing stuff. You guys, again, comment below. Share with a friend if it's creating value in your life. I wanna be the change and I know you want to be the change. Yes, we will see you at the next workout. Take care. Yay, good for you. That was awesome.